Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we're reviewing uh, The Pillar. It's from uh, Paper Bunker Studios. And uh, if you're a puzzler fan and you don't want to see how to solve these puzzles, you might want to turn it off. I'll go ahead now so I don't spoil it and tell you I enjoyed the game. I gave it a 7.1 out of 10. It's just hard to review games like this without spoiling the puzzles. So I wanted to go ahead and get that out there just in case you were wanting to see my opinion and then go grab it for yourself. So I didn't want to show any puzzles first and just tell you the score. Tell you I enjoyed it. But if you want to watch the review from here out, you're going to see some puzzles. And you're going to see how the different levels look. I'm sure you're not going to remember this when you go to, to play it. But some people do have photogenic memory, so I wanted to go ahead and tell people beforehand before I showed any puzzles. But the puzzles are pretty simple anyway. They're basic, uh, like, forming patterns, uh, finding number combinations, memory as far as drawing patterns, uh, combinations where you look for numbers. Each level has hidden puzzle pieces that you have to find. All of this is pretty simple in my opinion. And this is a really good game for achievement hunters. So I think it's around $4.99, $5.99. And you could, if you use the walkthrough, you could probably find all of the achievements in under 30 minutes. Without that, you could probably do it in around an hour. Because it's really, really simple to be honest. I really didn't struggle with hardly any of the puzzles. Most I figured out fairly easy. They do get kind of repetitive because they do see the same style of puzzles show up a lot but they mix them up they mix them up a lot and they mix up the, your surroundings and things like that so it's it's not going to be like super repetitive it, you do get something unique on every level something that you hadn't seen before and they all look pretty cool and uh, and the music and everything it's pretty relaxing as a puzzler it kind of reminds me of the game uh, The Witness if anyone's played that it's uh, this is an indie game. This is a budget indie game, so it's not as in depth as the witness. Don't think that I'm saying that. It just kind of gives you that feel and vibe. It's like a uh, smaller version of that. Um, it's it's enjoyable. If you're an achievement hunter, you're definitely going to want to grab this one. This one's going to pad your stats. If you're a puzzler fan, you're going to enjoy it as well. It it does. Uh, it's challenging, but it's not frustrating challenging. Most stuff you're going to figure out pretty easy. Uh, you might mess up on the achievements if you play it without using a walkthrough. Because you have to get like 70% uh, success rate on puzzles to get like the expert achievement. So that one you could miss if you was uh, just doing it on your own. But you can always come back and play it again. And... Uh, get them it's not like it's that long of a game I uh man we're halfway through and I really don't know what else to say and I hate spoiling all these puzzles and letting everybody see uh, these uh, like I said though if you're pretty good at remembering what you see you might not want to watch because I do show some puzzles I do show some of the hidden puzzle pieces and I hate to spoil anything for you because uh, I know I would hate to it had been spoiled for me because I really enjoyed solving it on my own. I think it's really worth doing that. Even if you are an achievement fan, you, you might still want to do it on your own. Because yeah. you hate to spend money on these games and then just blow through them with a walkthrough. Sit there and play the games. Enjoy them. It's not all about achievements. Even if you do love achievements, I love achievements. But come on, you got to enjoy these games you're putting money into. You can't just sit there and blow through them like that. And this is one of those ones you, it, it would be disappointing not to experience solving the puzzles on your own and finding the clues and everything. But uh, if you do play it, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I'd like to hear if it was challenging for you. Hit us up in the comments. You know, Definitely hit the like button hit the subscribe button it helps us to get more games so we can do these reviews more often we really do enjoy bringing these reviews to you letting you know what we thought about the games letting you know what games have easy achievements things like that but i'm just going to i'm going to end the video a little bit early here and you can just watch some more if you want or uh you can just end the video but 
I'm going to go ahead and tell you 7.1. Definitely worth your time if you're an achievement hunter, if you're a puzzler fan. Uh, pretty fun indie budget title here. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. And until next time, see you in the leaderboards.